Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be growing some trees. Not this mighty oak tree, but these tiny little bonsai trees. And bonsai just means container gardening or container growing. So I've chosen a few small containers here. This terracotta one I think is going to be nice, this blue stone one. This one doesn't have any drainage, but we're going to try that anyways. Now traditional bonsais are grown in shallow rectangular pots. So we're also going to try just a basin, a terracotta basin without the pot. So I've gone around the garden and I found some evergreens here and I've submerged them under water just to get rid of the bugs. So I'm going to try this one in here, and this little white spruce I think it is, we may try in this tiny little guy here. And then I found an oak, like this one here, but just a little baby, you can still see the acorn, but I'm going to try and get rid of that. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to try this, and it's probably a better choice to use an evergreen, but you can use broadleafs like an oak, or maybe even a buckthorn we may try, or this tiny little elm. So if you know how to identify the plants at their leaves, they're basically identical to their giant counterparts. And the last one I thought might be interesting is a grapevine. It looks like a little maple, but this is actually a grapevine. So we may try and grow this. And bonsai is all about perfection. So I'm going to trim away any dead leaves, any damaged bits of stem. And I thought grapevine would be a good choice because it's trainable. Most bonsai, they wrap these little branches in wire so that they can bend them to their will. So I think we may have a good time at that with this grapevine here. So, because these are trees, most of them, we're going to start with some gravel. This is going to provide excellent drainage and it's also going to shallow up the pot quite a bit. And don't be afraid to prune can even prune the roots, but I think I'm just going to bend them slightly because I don't want to damage the plant too much. But just to some regular potting soil, I'm going to add some perlite just to increase the drainage. So I've got a mix here of soil with perlite. And I'm just going to fill around this tree and really pack it in. So I've just filled in. And I'm going to center it and pack it in nice and tight. Don't be afraid to pull it out and try again if you've got the wrong angle. But it's as simple as that. I like to keep it simple. You can use whatever you've got. If you've got little plastic containers, you can try those. I'm going to try this one next. And, you know what, let's try the buckthorn. Buckthorn is an invasive species that was grown as a hedge in Europe. And when it was brought over to the United States, it really spread out of hand. But it makes a great little hedge. So I'm going to fill in a little more gravel. You could use sand also for this purpose. But I'm just trying to make that shallow container like they do in Japan. Now this is a good time to prune anything you don't like. I'm just going to cut a couple of the damaged leaves here. A couple more. 
and I'm also going to trim a little bit of the root system. It's just a little long on this root here, and hopefully that'll promote new growth, but we don't want it to grow too fast. Bonsais can take hundreds of years to become fully developed in their pots. But I think this buckthorn is going to be an interesting plant to grow inside because it's so often just pulled as a weed. And we pull it here. But this one I've decided to save. So there we have two planted out. So let's move on to our little spruce here. And I'm really going to use a lot of perlite as much as I can here. And actually, I should fill in around it. This is such a cute little plant. It was just growing under its parent. It must have dropped a little pine cone and sprung this guy up. So there we have it real quick. Three little bonsais. And actually, why don't we just try our elm and our oak in this one here. So I'll finish off our gravel and then fill in with some of our soil. And the watering of these is really important. Mostly don't water at all. Really only water when you have to. It's so easy to overwater, especially on a tiny little plant, and definitely when there's no drainage. But there we have it. Five little bonsais. I think they look great. So I hope you give it a grow. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.